From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. Israeli troops have entered the main hospital in southern Gaza today in what the army said was a limited operation seeking the remains of hostages taken by Hamas. One of the remaining surgeons at the hospital told the AP that one patient died and seven were wounded when Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunus came under fire yesterday. Israel accuses Hamas of using hospitals and other civilian structures to shield its fighters. Canada, Australia and New Zealand are all warning Israel that a ground offensive in the southern Gaza border city of Rafa would be catastrophic. In a joint statement issued late last night, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his counterparts wrote that they are gravely concerned by indications that Israel is planning a ground offensive into Rafa, where one and a half million Palestinians are taking refuge. They say the humanitarian situation in Rafa is already dire. The federal government is spending more than $273 million to acquire new military equipment for NATO's Canada-led battle group in Latvia. Canadian press reporter John Kennedy has more on the list of new tools our military is buying. That includes $227.5 million for a short-range air defense system from Saab Canada intended to defend against fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, drones, and others, as well as $46 million for counter-drone equipment. Defense Minister Bill Blair says it's the first time that the Canadian Armed Forces will have an air defense capability since 2012. Blair made the announcement in Brussels today where he is attending this week's meeting of NATO defense ministers. Officials in Kansas City, Missouri say one person was killed, 21 others were hurt in a shooting that broke out yesterday following the parade for the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win. Among the injured were at least 11 children. Three suspects have been detained. At least one firearm has been recovered. Reporter Alex Perez is in Kansas City. This was a big event that the city prepared for. So there were hundreds of officers all over the place, about 800 officers specifically assigned just to monitor this area with thousands of people. And then there were 24 other law enforcement agencies who were brought in to help keep things safe. Yet with all those officers on the scene, we still had this shooting. A Kansas City radio station says the person who was killed in the shooting was an on-air host and mother of two, Lisa Lopez Galvan. It was a Valentine's Day love-in in Whistler, B.C., where Prince Harry and his wife Meghan attended Invictus Games training sessions yesterday, a year before Vancouver and Whistler are set to host the annual Games. The Duke of Sussex, the founder of the Games for Wounded Veterans, snaked down the bunny hill without a fall. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, Pascal Siakam got the win he was hoping to get in his return to Toronto's Scotiabank Arena, his first time back since he was traded a month ago to the Indiana Pacers. Like, you don't want to come in here and lose, you know. And when everyone was just telling me, like, oh, man, like, I'm so, so happy to see you, like, in my head, it was just like, I got to get a win. Siakam had 23 points to lead the Pacers past the Raptors, 127-125. Kevin Durant scored 25 points, and the Phoenix Suns overcame fellow All-Star Devin Booker's early ejection in routing Detroit 116-100. Durant says he was surprised at Booker's ejection after two technical fouls, but understood the officials wanting to control the game because of a pregame altercation between the Pistons' Isaiah Stewart and the Suns' Drew Eubanks that led to Stewart's arrest for assault. Just three games in the NHL last night. The Winnipeg Jets shut out San Jose 1-0. Minnesota beat Arizona 3-1, and it was Florida 5-2 over Pittsburgh. From the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo.